Florida author Elizabeth McCulloch captures the true essence of the state in her new book, Dreaming the Marsh. She joins us to tell us why it is very much a Florida book. Very interesting read. Good morning. Glad to have you here. Good morning. Thanks for having me, Carly. So this is a very interesting take on the Sunshine State <laughs> and how it angers back. Tell us a little bit about the plot and why you wanted to write this book. It, well, I don't know why I wanted to write it, so I can't <laughs> tell you that except when you write fiction, it comes to you, an yeah. image comes to you, and it grabs you, and you go with it. Um, the book is about a sinkhole that begins to grow and begins to swallow up some environmentally sensitive land known as the marsh, okay. which is based on Payne's Prairie south of Gainesville. Okay, I was just going to ask where in Florida this kind yeah, of takes place. Yeah, it's just south of Gainesville in a wonderful place called Payne's Prairie. It begins to swallow up the marsh where twin sister real estate developers were planning to build luxury condominiums. Mm. Uh, it swallows a good part of the marsh, it swallows a good part of I-75, so I couldn't drive from Gainesville to Tampa anymore. Okay. Uh, swallows a lake. It just keeps going. Uh, the mayor thinks he can stop it. He's a Yankee. He's come down to tell all the ignorant Southerners how to live. <laughs> um, a county commissioner who is a native Floridian uh -huh. knows it can't be stopped. There's a lovesick geologist who is fascinated, of course, by the sinkhole and the twin sister real estate developers who are a couple of old hippies. And uh, there is a wonderful character, Vernell Potano, who is descended from the Potano tribe of the Timucua Indians. And she speaks with the ancients. She speaks with her ancestors and she summons the ancient beasts. Wow such as the mastodons. And this and all idea all just came to you? I mean, this seems well, pretty compli it, it complicated. Just, it, it doesn't it, come yeah. to you. I had an image of a sinkhole swallowing a house, and I often went to the prairie and hung out there. And it all, yeah. you know, you just had a baby, right? Nine months yeah. of, <laughs> well, books are like that, but they take a lot longer. <laughs> and they imagine. just grow It and is grow. a labor of love, I'm sure. It is a labor of love. It's very exciting when you're in the zone. Yeah. You, we have about a minute left, but okay. uh, you do have a fascinating background. You were a lawyer, teacher, now novelist. Uh, you also call yourself, when you go to her website, you're the feminist grandmother. I am. Grandma. <laughs> um, I'm raising our, we, we are raising yeah. our granddaughter, and so well, I had to put down the novels while I adjusted to that, and I started writing the blog. It's personal essays about friends and aging and things yeah. that aggravate me or thrill me <laughs> or whatever. I also have another blog called Big Books from Small Presses, okay. which is reviews of books that don't yeah. get a lot of attention. And they're all on my website, okay, which great. is Elizabeth McCulloch Author. Dot com. Good to know. We'll make sure that goes on our website. Okay. And uh, by the way, this book, you can get it on Amazon, which is probably you the can, easiest way to do it. It is the easiest. Um, you can also buy from Twisted Road Publications. Okay. But if you buy, if you're in a book club and you want to buy 10 or more, uh -huh. call Twisted Road Publications in Tallahassee and you get a considerable discount. All right. Sounds good. Well, Dreaming the Marsh, available now. Thank you so much. What a pleasure to Thank meet you. Thank you for having me. All right, and again, we'll put all the details on our website as well.